third base. But good looking swing, big kid, big arm. So one nothing and another good hitter, Pineda at the plate, and he hits one to right center field. And it's gone. Just kept going. And how about that? The big fly, first home run of this Little League World Series, and a big inning for Panama. Four nothing. Pineda, just 11 years old, but he did hit six home runs in the regional for this team from Panama. A little fastball out of the way. Perfect job of going with it. Well, you remember in that regional championship game when the New York team struggled offensively, it was with the breaking ball. Mancini's at second, Abadessa at first. This one lifted deep to left field. Back to the wall is Salido. It's gone! A three-run home run for Ryan Harlos. right here he swung through the swung through the curveball and right there he gets a fastball up and away look at the abbreviated swing no kidding just trying to put it in play but Jack Reynolds well, isn't in a big hurry to let them score is he his team on the board that one traveled about 280 or so feet straight away center field this is when the game gets fun you get second time through the batting order Tanner Jones struck out his first at bat he comes up and look at the confidence the bat speed. I mean, his first at bat, he was more hesitant. It's his first at bat of the World Series, and here he comes and just ropes. Crushes a pitch over the center field fence to get his team on the board. His first at bat of the game. And he crushes one to center field. It's gone. Christian Santorelli is the last kid of this Canada team to hit today. He's the 13th kid to get in at bat. He's the first one to leave the yard. First pitch fastball, dead center field. And Christian took his time around those base pads. I loved it. He's got to trot down. Tongue out. Another breaking ball. This one he crushes. Gone and over everything. performance today. Laredo Siniscalchi. 10 to 2. He kind of saw this one coming on the first swing that he took. He fouled it off, but he was right on it. And this time gets another break of all. This one not in a terrible spot. It's down and away, but he had seen the pitch three times. Doesn't try to pull it, goes with it. Drives it out to left field. Second home run of the day for Canada. And Loretto Santascalchi has done everything today. Make the trip and be able to watch uh, the entire team play. Uh, they have really come together uh, and become a family. And they've really rallied around you as well. We showed the bracelet. I know you're wearing it right now. Um, the fact that they wear it before... Oh.
That's awesome. I'm going to let you watch and enjoy this moment. Thank you so much. Thank you. Keeps it more a little more compact. Ripped into left field, and it is gone. What a start for Dominic Tellis. Think mom and dad like that? <laughs> I think all of West Texas likes that one. zone, but watch him just bat meat ball connect to it. So he watches it go over the fence, but that's a pitch up in the zone. He does a nice job with those hands, but it's that quick bat. He knew it. He started jogging right away. Dad. <laughs> Here's Devin Obi. Mm, waited on that one and whacked it to a home run. It went over the wall and Obi has gone deep. Didn't get out by much, but it got out enough. His coaches use the word demoralize when they talk about the way that he swings the bat. And just look at the way he carries his whole entire body. Watch, just gets into that front foot yeah. in a beautiful way. Stays back like you mentioned, Carl. Yeah. Crush it over the fence. Look at kid from Canada, Loreto Sinescalchi, who's 6'1, 175, throwing 80 miles an hour. Dominating Team Japan. That ball is crushed deep to left field and wide gone. A home run for Gael Cortez, a pitcher. Enrique Iglesias' favorite singer. Well, uh, that, that entire team, it wasn't just Victor Juarez. No. It seemed like everybody liked to sing. I think they should, you know, I have to go on tour after this. Go. Wow. Is that number two? It is off the scoreboard, or at least the pillar below the scoreboard. My goodness. A two-home run day for Gael Cortez. That one is ripped to left field, and it is gone. There's that big home run from Kenny Ricks. Six nothing Rhode Island. Oh boy, we come back. He's followed Lemieux all summer long, and he's done that all summer long. Exclamation point question mark. And he hits that one. How's that for a pinch hit? Not a lot of question about it. It's gone. And that is the first run of the game. Much more exclamation wow. than question. They found her to short the hopper. Adachi backed up on it. And he was safe, but. Oh, he hits one way up there. Has he tied the game? He has. That's a big fly. baseball player here. The old cross cutters now play their baseball in Williamsport. Oh, that ball is ripped down the line and left. It's gone! Home run for the pinch hitter, Devin Hinojosa.
That's his same like character. Because watching this guy pick it in short is fun. A really good athlete. And he crushes one to right, my goodness. A three-run homer. And that one left the bat in a hurry. Wow. Son of the wind. Son of the wind can hit a little bit. Singled and scored a run. One, two. You know, we, we ask the South Korean kids about their favorite players, and I think it gives you a little insight into the baseball in that country. Oh, he hits a center and well hit. It's gone. Six nothing now, seven nothing South Korea. He's been the most impressive hitter, and they've had a lot of impressive swings. Well, how about that one? Up onto the hill. Goodbye. Yeah, so that counts as impressive. He's got a double, he's got a triple, and now he's got his first home run in Williamsport. And does that change yeah, started running around in front of the fans and they were into it it didn't happen but it certainly could and it has here for Rhode Island Kenny Ricks rides it out and they now lead 2-1 to one. Mr. Clutch Kenny Ricks can. he did it twice at the regionals including that walk-off grand slam and he does it here to put his team up 2-1 to one. Catcher Antonio set the target away. Pitch came back over the plate, and it's hit well to right field. And gone! However you say it, with the Australian accent of the Texan, 
Stephen Courtney's got a Little League World Series home run. And it's 2-0 Australia. He's just a little confused. Yep. See, watch when he goes to home plate. That ball just kind of pauses behind his head before it goes. This one is driven to center field, and it is way gone. Wow. Zach McWilliams, the pitcher, gives himself a 2-0 lead. Look at the ball. Good job. Is looking for his first hit. Uh oh, did he get him? Left field, gone, and we are tied. One pitch, and just like that, it's a new ball game. Let's go! Yeah. And Started them off with a breaking ball, and he killed it. You know, Rap, we saw this in our earlier game today. Got out of the bullpen, first two kids are swinging first pitch, bang, bang, two hits, game over, and Lucas Barujo not wasting any time right here. He got a breaking ball, first pitch breaking ball, and Booney dropped the head on it and changed his ball game with one swing. He appeared in two games. He struck out three, didn't walk any. you've talked about, those relief pitchers come in, throw a first pitch breaking ball, which Abdi did, but then he goes to the fastball on the second pitch. It's up, it's out over the plate, and we've seen a ton of good swings from the Jones brothers throughout this World Series. He stays on that and drives it the other way, and just does sneak oh, out as wow. it hits the top of the wall and bounces out to give Tennessee the lead here in the seventh. Tanner Jones misses a grand oh. slam by Jose Leal gets into one and that is gone over the wall in right field. Not sure if it had enough off the bat, but Kyle had kept carrying and he's got to beat a big win into right field to get that out and he did just that. Jose Leal is in charge today. He's been great on the mound. Two innings, thrown up zeros. Now this time a little fastball out away from him. Two gives that ball just enough lift to carry out into right center field. Line drive home run for Jose Leal. The offense of Mexico just keeps on coming. Singled in his last time up. And that one is hit high and deep, and that is gone. A two-run shot for Victor Juarez. And now it's an even 10 for Team Mexico. again, Kyle. He's been doing that throughout the tournament. Yeah, this is a good little fastball, too. I mean, it's 70, 71 miles an hour, and Victor Juarez, this is back-to-back -back balls that have been ripped the other way. Watch how far that one flies. We're covering the street across right center field. That went about 300 or 270 feet the other way and extends the Team Mexico lead. It's an opportunity for you to go on the web as this one is driven to right center field and deep. Ethan Jackson. And Tennessee's up one to nothing. Look at the ball. He's been outstanding. He's now five for 11 in the tournament. 11 team pairs of glasses. We've got a glove, some hats. <laughs> and who knows what else. All right, RJ Moore with a chance. With two on, driven to center field. Wow, R.J. Moore has put Tennessee back on top. <laughs> yeah! About, again, the job of Joey Hale to pick the right guy at the right time. He'd been 0 for 3, pinch hits him for Odin, and he goes yard.
Tell you what, this wasn't a cheap one either. This one went over the second fence and into the people sitting out there in right center field. But, I mean, you look at the exuberance of first base coach with the little low five going around. We got us a ball game, don't we? We do, and they always, it's amazing how many times they score after the team puts some runs up against them. They're the answer back team. You, you, you jump ahead, we're going to figure out a way to come back. What a moment for R.J. Moore and the Moore family. Just play because everything, the one strike was on the outside corner and the other misses, all six, have been away. So the 2-1 to Pineda. That is hit high and deep and out. And there it is. The moment Panama has been waiting for. The three-run blast. And Panama jumps out to the 3-2 lead. Wow. feet six inches ten straight strikes that ball is to left field and deep back goes ryan at the wall over the wall a three run home run he almost had it <laughs> carson myers gets kentucky on the board Carson just kind of used the power of the pitch. The ball's up and away, and he just gets the head of the bat to it. It looks like a pop-up off the bat, but it just kind of keeps carrying. Oh. A great effort by Justin Ryan back there as he just kind of drifts on that ball and just could not squeeze it. A huge three. And now Jude. Jude's going to be hacking. Crucky's a big Jude oh, out of love He loves his approach. See it? Hit it. two-run home run. Before he fired in another strike. Uh, first and third. Way in on the grass. Look out. Left field and deep. It goes and it is over the wall. See, um, Quan has gone deep. You speed up and you can't reach the outside pitch once you start opening up. And even though they're that close to plate, you know, they have yet to cover that outside pitch. Covered. That's all of it. Jake Young, Kim, a three-run home run, and now South Korea leads it four nothing. They heard you, Crappy. Right, right, right there. Boy, did he turn that around. for South Korea. Yeah. South Korea gets one hit yesterday and it's a bunt single. 
A little bit different gig today. That's the third home run of the day. Runs five and six in the second home run of the day for Sayum Kwan. Over in the first inning, now does it again here in the second inning. And that ball had to go about 280 feet. Figure out a different way to get the players in and out of the bullpens. Two on, play. Maybe a golf cart. Big helmet. Bring those back. Uh-oh. And McWilliams center field. Aaron Boone incoming. Grand slam for Zach McWilliams. That's how you look at a ball. Good job. Just missed that one, Crucky. No, that one. That one. Uh, you know, he had good swings, yep. and you know, just just because a kid strikes out, you think, oh, he's having a tough day. He struck out. His swings were good. And that one there was just a, a, a hanger out over the center of the plate. Boy, you talk about pretty. Joaquin Tejada has given up, what, four hits in an inning and two-thirds? Probably never. Uh-oh, see him, Quan. It is back at the wall and over the wall. Oh, man. Eduardo Rodriguez had a chance to catch it. And it ends up over the wall for a home run for Quan. <laughs> Many days. And Evan Rodriguez right here in left field. You see Juan. I mean, he knows he has the distance. He just doesn't know how much distance he's going to get. But Edward, Edward Rodriguez goes back to the fence right here. Looks like he hit the, his back hit the fence. He, it, it jarred his eyes. Yep, exactly. And, right. and, and he couldn't. Couldn't pick the ball up. So this goes shit. Oh, I'll take him. That ball is driven to right field, and it is gone over the wall. A two-run home run. South Korea now leads him. Okay. Big time. All right, here we go. Put it together for this particular event. Throw a bunch of 12-year-olds together and said, let's get along and win a game. Do we have another one? Yes, we do. A long fly. Wante Cho hammered that one. Boy, did they make an adjustment. Third home run of the day for South Korea. Uh-oh, we got one out there. It's a two-run home run, and Tennessee not done yet. Zach McWilliams, fourth home run of the World Series. Wow, that's not that's an easy one there. to hit. It's pretty good. Break the ball down and in, Crookie. He just went down and got it. Get his hands inside. That was really well. Not the ball. Keep it to be able to keep that ball fair. I think right now he's thinking 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I think he is too. But see if he'll stay right there with the fastball. I like the fastball in on his hands. Yeah. There we go. It's out of here. So just like that, one swing of the bat, Carlos Gonzalez has tied it up. We told you he could swing it. Stayed on it and put it out. And that little breaking ball is just kind of right into that bad speed. Fastball tied him up, tried to sneak a breaking ball by him and... He's a big boy, and if he gets it, it's going to go a long ways. And Panama ties it up one swing. He knew it the second to hit his bat. Let's listen. 
That just means you have to first pitch fastball strike in, breaking ball for strike two. And R.J. Moore just threw one over the fence out in left field. No one sees the ball, so things are perfect. Uh-oh. That's gone, too. That is well into the hill. And just like that, this one is over. So after being silent for the first five-plus innings, Panama gets a couple of big home runs from Carlos Gonzalez and Asmeet Pineda. And Panama walks it off. Wow. And they're used to that, guys. And Three of their last the, five. Wow. Just had to get to the comfort zone. Zach McWilliams was dominant, too, for the first five and a third. And then a couple breaking balls that two big kids got under and drove out of here. But a great run for the kids from Tennessee. They got to no play question. seven ball games on this field.